don't have to use an easel. I suppose we should be getting into our actual configuration. Let's let's get into the, uh, the proper attire. All right, so Weasel, what is this song about? What the f Matt? What? I thought this isn't what you meant. Are, are you gonna stay like that? I, I mean, you. you I want to feel fancy too. <laughs> I forgot my jacket at home. Hi, I'm Johnny Rock. <laughs> <laughs> And, and I think I just became blackmailable. <laughs> and we're talking about a song called Weasel. So the song is about a friend of mine. Uh, she's a real, really good friend of mine. And uh, she had a problem. And uh, this is, I think the, uh, the first and last verse are sort of about our friendship with each other. And the, the two middle verses are about her complications. I had seen a video that you and Joe Galupo, the PTA, that you guys made of this song. It was amazing. I didn't get the context yet, but, but I knew who it was about, so it, to me that seemed like that was very genuine. That was uh, uh, it's like an open letter, if you will, which a lot of your, your stuff is. But th this one in particular, I guess, just because I like I knew who that was, and it was like, wow, that's that's awesome. It started off really slow and worked into the more upbeat feel, and it was one of those ones where I was banging out kind of a bass drum part with my palm. And the next layer that came to it naturally was that Max and I started playing it together. Um, so he was playing guitar over that most of the time, some a little just lead licks and. Uh, he was the his major contribution was the backing vocals, which really I think have stayed the same for the most part. I actually I drew a lot from uh, the Syphil and Ollie stuff, like those uh, Matt Croco and, and Liam Lynch had some fun yet really off the cuff harmonies with each other. I don't know, where did my daughter go? You asked me to send you a recording of the song because you were making, uh, uh, you know, a mock set list, so to speak, for the record. I didn't have a capo with me that day, so actually, just as a joke, I grabbed my mandolin and I played it on that, and, um, that's, you, you, you used it. <laughs> <laughs> that's so. great. That's the first time I've heard that, actually. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, it wasn't, it wasn't supposed to be taken seriously. <laughs> and, uh, that's how it ended up on the record. <laughs> It was just like, oh, that's where he's going with it these days. Splendid. <laughs> I think we just started to take that bluegrass thing, you know, one yeah. to another. And... Acoustic guitars sort of wore their welcome out on the song, that the charm wasn't so much there once we got yeah. the clunkiness going. And of course, the final edition was when uh, we had our, our scheduling issue and Johnny ended up doing, you know, maintenance work in time with us. completely sleep deprived and Andrew was coming in after a complete catastrophe of a day and Johnny and I were still trying to get the room together. Tensions were ridiculously high that day in general, yet instead of colliding in, in some sort of stupid confrontation, that's spackle dust. That is so bad. That is horrible. I'm a terrible person. <laughs> for all the things that I did in that video. And so we ended up getting a drum arrangement that was approximately sandpaper and compressed air. And from there it sort of grew into the little, uh, the shaky eggs, the egg shakers, uh, rather, and, uh... Air cans, yeah, well that, that came from the YouTube video. Um... And I even it was a lot more hilarious in that context, but, uh... Well, I ended up having a hilarious... Almost dropping it was yeah, hilarious, Yeah, that too. was pretty hilarious, actually. <laughs> Took 26 years before I ever knew that I had missed her. I had only ever seen the song done live. I've never seen it. I never even imagined it being produced. Um, like, it, it just seemed like that folky kind of vibe was going to work for it. And, uh, oh, by the way, you want to record it somewhere different? You want to go to uh, Xanthi Music <laughs> with, with Rod? 
I'm down with that any day. Probably. I, I am too. What was exciting for me is that Rob... I'm going to do that one again. I've known him through friends of mine that went to high tech because he's the music teacher at high tech. Yeah, he's a great musician. He's also a music teacher, like you said. And I've been in bands with a lot of his students, too, and they love him. And several of them follow in his footsteps. Uh, and when you work with him, you totally understand why. He just he makes what we do look fun. He's a big part of my, my history. I mean, the, the two bands that I was in. Uh, that rehearsed at his place. I mean, I was there hundreds of times, you know, so that it was it was really cool to, to get back there All the threads and all the roads that led to this, you know, right here that all started a lot of it in, in that that particular room Rudd's a nice mellow guy, and you know, he just created a really uh, Positive environment for us to come in and do that song and you know nailing a, a song live is not Easy. This is one of the few songs where everything was tracked simultaneously. If one of us didn't get it right, nobody got it right. The song is called Weasel, and it's on Johnny Rock and Friends for the record. Yes.